Hey guys, McShane here, and today I'm bringing you another Sony Vegas Pro 12 tutorial. And today I'll be doing an effect that I don't know if it has a name or what it's called, but I'll be just calling it the sidebar blur effect. So first I'll show you an example of what I'll be do doing today. So right on this side is how it like blurs out a little bit and darkens. I'll show you how to do that. So first you want to get your clip drag it onto the timeline, and delete the audio track. So now you'll just have the free roaming track that is the video. So next thing you want to do is duplicate the track so you have two. And on the top track, you want to go to the event pan crop and click that, go to the first keyframe, and then make sure that the lock aspect ratio is turned off so that you can move it freely and it doesn't keep it shape. And you want to bring it in a little bit so this will give you the sidebars. And, and that's all you really need to do with this top track. So now if I were to mute the bottom track, all you would see is like this part of the video and there'll be like the black lines on the side so that's the first part so the second step is that you want to add the effects to make it like blur out and like darken the background so first I'm gonna add uh, where is it uh, color curves right or no not color curves it's curves I'm trying to find it curves no we'll just add color curves Alright, so make sure you're on the first keyframe, and when you do this, you just get this like little square here and drag it down a bit, and it'll darken the back layer, which would be your bottom track. And if I were to mute the top track, it'll be darker than that. So that'll give you the dark looking, and simply to make it blurry, you would just add a quick blur, add, and just drag that up. What I like to do is I would like to add another quick blur because that doesn't quite look that blurry. Like you can still see it focused. And then, so now it's starting to look pretty good. And you know what? I'm going to head back to the first keyframe and drag this in a little bit because I feel like I want more of the bars on the side. So you could do the small amount like that, or you could do like a huge amount like that. E either way, it's fine, because it'll still look good. So basically, that's all there is to it. But what I like to do, which gives it this cool extra effect, is like you go into your track motion and then what you would do is you would scale it a little bit up so it looks like it magnifies it that might be a little bit too much but but now if I were to watch it now ah, that's not enough I need to head back so in there and drag it out and now when you look at the bars it'll look like it's magnifying it or it looks pretty cool So yeah, it's basically it, and sorry about like how I sound in this one, I'm like really tired of this and I did it really quickly, so sorry about that, but hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.